This is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called The Big Bang by Katie Tiz. And it starts out with this cool little intro around a G minor chord. And you can play that with a G, B flat, and a D in the right hand. And you might want to add in an F if you can kind of get to it. Kind of a G minor 7 kind of an idea. And the left hand can kind of work out kind of just a bass note on the G note. So I'm kind of working that as just kind of a chord idea. And you could kind of work this as kind of a, kind of a four count. Kind of a together, right, right kind of feel where the quarter note is kind of through that intro part together right 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 together right 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 or there might be parts where you want to double time that kind of get some eighth notes going on in the right hand so kind of together right 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 that kind of an idea or one of my favorite comp patterns for a song like this is together right left right right so you'd have together I think the feel is more kind of funky and so if you kind of dig on this and another option would be kind of a, a left left right left right left right left right left left right left right left right left right a little bit more funky kind of an idea so you want to kind of play around with that too kind of dig on that feel from that intro, we'll be going into our main verse progression. We start on the G minor, and then we go to a C minor chord, kind of a C, E flat, G. And if you wanted to, you could add a B flat to that and make it a C minor 7, just kind of dig on that. And then from the C minor, we'll be going to a D major chord, kind of a D, F sharp, and A. Or if you wanted to, you could add a C and make it a, a D dominant 7. And then from the D, we'd be going back to our G minor. And then we go to our C minor. And then we go back to our G minor, but then we go to an A7 chord. <laughs> and so you could play A major, A, C sharp, and E, or you could add in the G note, make that an A dominant 7. And then from the A, we'd be going to the D major, kind of a D F sharp A, or you could add in that C from a D7 chord. So we could try that in any of those ways, actually, through that verse part, kind of a G minor, C minor. From there, then we'll be going into our chorus part. And our chorus starts on the C minor, and then we go to G minor, and then we go to a D, but you'll kind of hear where there's an F sharp note that the bass player is playing. So you may want to play an F sharp in the left hand, and then do your D major chord in the right hand, and that's called D7 slash F sharp, or D7 with an A sharp, or an F sharp in the bass. And then from that D slash F sharp, we go back to G minor, and then we go back to our C minor, we go back to our G minor, and then we go back to our D, and then we end up back on our G minor. So we can do that any of those ways too, actually, kind of that C minor, G minor, D slash F sharp, G minor, C minor, G minor, oops, there it is, in the D. kind of 
of play around with that a little bit. And then from that chorus, we'll be going into our verse part. Now, one other thing I think about doing through the song, though, is kind of working arpeggios or broken chords, especially if I was kind of backing somebody up with this. And so you may want to try just like left to right as kind of an, an arpeggio idea, kind of to break up the chord. So I'm kind of just playing all the notes in order, but from the left of the keyboard to the right of the keyboard. So that could be kind of a cool thing to try through the verse. You'd have the G minor, C minor, D, G minor, C minor, G minor, A7, D7. And then from there, then we're going back into our chorus part. So we can even try that through the chorus, kind of that C minor. Or you can mix it up different ways. From there, that we'll be going into our bridge part, and our bridge starts on a G major chord, so G B D, kind of going all white keys here, and then we go C minor, and then we do some more C minor, and then we go to an F major where you got F A and C. And if you wanted to, I think you could sneak in an E flat on that if you wanted to make that an F seven. Um, and then from there, we'd be going to a G seven chord, or G major, but you may want to add in the F. You want to make that a seventh, and then we go to C minor another C minor, and then our F, and then a D, and then we almost kind of have a verse return, actually, at the end of the bridge, kind of a G minor, C minor, D7, and then almost kind of a hit on that last G minor, see so I'm kind of play around with that, so all the way through the bridge, um, you'd have the G7, some kind of hit there and then from there then we'll be going into our last chorus and you could even work that with those arpeggio ideas if you're kind of digging it or a lot of these chords are actually kind of coming out of a G minor scale which is kind of the key of B flat which is interesting because we don't actually play the B flat but but you'd have G A B flat C D E flat and then F and G would kind of be a little G minor scale um, and this is a little weird because sometimes, especially through the tune, actually, when we hit the D major, all of a sudden, instead of the F major, or the regular F, you're going to want to hear the F sharp. So this is a little weird. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G would be something called G harmonic minor for when you kind of have that moment where you're on the D. So one other option, actually, is something I, I call freeform, which is kind of where you play the bass note up something in the scale and then you play a bass note scale bass note scale idea bass note oh, I like that harmonic minor G um, and then this D or you can mix that up with the arpeggio idea G minor kind of there so you might even kind of play around with that a little bit actually that could be kind of a cool thing especially for improv kind of that Bass note, scale, bass note, and then bass note, and then bass note. You might kind of dig on that if you're thinking more solo arranging later on or kind of want to pick out the melody. It's in there somewhere. Um, and then at the very, very end, we kind of go back into a little piece of our intro for our outro, kind of our G minor. Oh, nice. But that's the basics of how you could kind of chord through the big bang by Katie Tiz on the piano. So good luck.